Hi guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my daily self-care routine as a wife, as a mother, as a Christian woman. Um, just kind of wanted to share what I do and honestly this is something I do daily, every day. Um, I mean sometimes depending on the day I'll skip a few, you know, a couple of the things here and there. Just kind of depends on what's going on that day. Um, but let's just go ahead and get right into it but before we do hit that subscribe button i do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle and would love to have you here so now let's just start with waking up in the morning i am a christian woman a huge part of my life is prayer and bible study um not because of so much it being a religious thing that i do but because for me it's truly about my walk, my relationship with God and my Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior. And I just wanted to really, that for me is, it's a huge component. And what makes me feel good about myself, it makes me feel good about my walk with the Lord, makes me feel good as a wife and a mother. And all of the things that I'm going to share with you are really things that really just make me a better wife, a better mother, a better Christian, a better human being in general because I am taking the time to do these things for myself. Am I perfect at it? Absolutely not. Am I good at it? I mean, I try to be, but you know, not everything's gonna get done the way I want it. Not everything gets done every day. And yes, I have my kids while I'm doing this, these things. Um, they are with me through it all and I'd like to point out that that is okay. Self-care is not always about taking a moment to yourself when you can, uh, especially daily self-care. Now there are times, there's a time and a place to do it for yourself, but that is not going to be every day. Um, when I'm talking about daily self-care routine, I'm talking do it in the moments that the kids are calm. Do it while the kids are with you. Show them what self-care looks like for you as a mom and showing them what that means. The very first thing I do every morning when I wake up, and this is before I get out of bed, is I pray. Yeah, honestly, I'll check my phone first. Um, just to kind of wake myself up a little bit that blue light really helps to get my energy up Gets me awake and then immediately after I will pray sometimes I will do this while my kids are still sleeping sometimes I will Do this while they're awake and they're coming in to see me in the morning and That way they could see mommy praying. It's the first thing they know I do it. My husband knows I do it everybody in my house knows that that's what I do. Very first thing, it's that communication with the Lord first thing in the morning. After that, I will go and I will make my cup of coffee. Sometimes my husband has it made for me, so I don't even have to worry about that part. And then I will go straight into my Bible study. Right now I'm doing a combination of studying the book of Matthew and I'm getting started on a study in the books of, book of James. I just finished Joshua and let me tell you they are really good studies. If you have a study group in your area, go to it whether it's your local church or something more along the lines of something that's more international. Um, community Bible study and Bible study fellowship are two really great options and they have those worldwide. So if I, I will go ahead and link the website down below but they do really good really in-depth Bible studies and for me doing that every morning it really sets me up for my day. I mean, sometimes it's a daily devotion. Sometimes it's finding a Bible study plan on the Holy Bible app, which I find is really helpful, especially when I don't have a lot of time that particular morning, but I still want to get that word in. And that's just something for me to sit and think on all day. My kids watch me. My kids, they don't want to do Bible study because they see mommy doing it. They have their Bible out. And so that really shows them what that means to give God the first fruits in the morning. And for me, that is very, very huge. And that is every morning without fail. I will do that every single day or some version of it. And every once in a while, I'll go ahead and do it at the end of the day if I don't get to it in the morning. But I really find that morning time is really important. And though some, a lot of that time, it's great when I get it to myself, that is something I try to do in front of my kids because I am teaching them what it means to walk in that walk. And I have learned after being a mom that, you know what, I can wake up super early in the morning and try to do my Bible study before everybody wakes up and they're all awake. Or I can wake up late in the morning and everyone's still asleep. And I've learned that there are times where the Lord wants me to get something 
out of my out of it by myself really wants that one on time one time with him and he will provide that for me and then there are times where he wants me to share that with my kids and showing them what that means to be an example and that again is huge 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 to my self-care routine because that's gearing me up that is putting on the armor of god that is really gearing me up for the day so that is really just the most important part of my everyday routine after that um i will upload a video on a couple of those days out of the week not every day I upload a video and then I will go in to get ready and again this is something that I try to do most days I'm um, not every day is perfect but most days I do because for me after I've got that armor of God on now I'm putting on my confidence armor I guess is a good wording for it I am when I do my makeup every morning I love it it's my favorite thing to do every morning is getting ready in the morning and even if I'm not doing anything that day it's still important for me to do that because now I'm building myself up. I'm telling myself I'm a good wife. I'm a good mother. I'm confident. I can handle whatever the day throws at me. And when I look good, I feel good. Um, and I'll take my time. Yes, yeah, some mornings I have to do the quick makeup routine. And some mornings I can have a little more fun and just enjoy myself. And there are days where I'll even lose track of time. Doing my makeup in the morning, doing my hair in the morning, getting dressed, it all makes me feel good because when I feel good, I look good and I will make the most sassiest of faces in the mirror because I am psyching myself up for the day. And then after that, usually I just, I'm ready to go about my day. I feel good. I have done, you know, some mornings are more hectic than others. So sometimes you're just like, why am I doing this? On those days, I highly urge you, do it anyway because that's what you know works for you. Fast forward to the end of my day. Usually at the end of the day, it's just time to relax. Um, I want to just kind of zone out on my phone or watch movies with my kids or just do something just kind of loungy. After going all day long, I just want to relax and just zone out for the day. And again, I feel like it's a huge part of self-care because that for me is relaxing. That's letting the day off of you, letting the day go. Um, and I'm not including all of the normal stuff you do every day. Shower, shower every day. Please shower every day. I don't. That's not self-care. That's hygiene right there. So no, that does not that is not included in my daily self-care routine. And end of the day skincare routine, again, just trying to take make sure I'm taking care of my skin. Uh, I don't do a whole lot because quite honestly, I just don't like dealing with it at night. I prefer to do all that in the morning. But at the end of the day, I do like to do a self-care routine. And then another thing that I'll do during the day, end of the day, just some kind of where I'm at, um, is I'll pick out my outfits for the day. I'll pick out my children's outfits for the next day. Um, I'll go into my closet and I'll find something cute to wear and whether I'm doing that daily or weekly, um, I enjoy it. Sometimes I'll just go in my closet just to pick out outfits for occasions coming up because I enjoy it, that. I enjoy beauty. I enjoy fashion. That's what makes me feel like me. That's what's what makes me. That's always been ingrained in me before and after motherhood. And as a mother, I've just had to incorporate that into my daily routine. And that, I'm telling you, it just it makes me feel good. So these are the things that I do every single day and not every day is perfect. Some days I'll skip a couple steps, some days I'll do a shortened version of other steps, and then some days I'll go for hours on each step. And again, that's just, it's going to depend on the day. Um, but these are the things that I do for myself and I feel like they help make me a better wife and a mother. And yeah, sometimes I get a little bit of mom guilt, like why am I doing this? But I'm doing it because I know that's who I am as a person. It's what I enjoy. It's what I like to do. Um, my kids are with me every step of the way of it for the most part. And they can join in with me or they can hang out and do their own thing. They're usually right next to me. And we're just hanging out, having a good time. And they are seeing that mom is taking care of, them, of herself. And therefore they are getting a good version of mom. Again, not all days are perfect. But even on those imperfect days where it's a hassle, do it anyway because that's still who you are. You do have to fight for it. I will tell you that as a mother right now, you have to fight to have those moments and to have that daily self-care routine. But when you fight for that, it becomes better and it does become easier over time because you are figuring out what works for you and what works for your family. You are allowed to work around your family. What you should not do is dismiss yourself altogether because that's not okay. That's not good for your family. That's not good for your spouse. That's not good for your children. That's not good for yourself. And then just giving that all to you. And then at the end of the day, right before I go to bed, I do a last little prayer as I'm falling asleep at night. And that just makes me feel, just gears me up just kind of for the night ahead. Whether I'm 
getting a good night's sleep or I'm up all night with one of the kids. Uh, I still am praying at the end of that day and that really, really helps me. So I hope this video helped you. Uh, let me know what are the, some of your daily self-care routines in the comments below. Maybe give me some more ideas. And with that, I will see you in the next one. God bless and bye guys.